here with Hubert Vallée of Canadian Metals. Hubert, I was just looking at your most recent press release of your drill results. If I'm reading it correctly, you got some pretty spectacular results. Yes, we worked for almost a year to get these, uh, these good news. You know, it's a lot of work to get these very good news on the political thing. Well, the resource industry grade is so important. And those grades struck me as being spectacular and having great economic potential. I also noticed that you've had pretty strong support from the government of Quebec. Can you talk to me about what the involvement of the Quebec government is now and moving forward? The government of Quebec is for us is very important. So it's mean they, they will put up to 2.1 million on the next financing stage and uh, the equivalent of 30 percent roughly. Uh, for that, that's a good message to the uh, to the market. We have uh, strong support of the government to put to make the project uh, moving forward up to the uh, the feasibility stage. So you're looking at doing further financing moving forward. Why should yeah. you, why should an investor be in this stock right now? Uh, actually, actually, we uh, we are in financing uh, period. And uh, so mixing with the good news. And uh, so this would allows us to progress the project. You know, uh, we have to produce a PFS, a pre-feasibility study by the, the year end. And we also work on the permit for the query. So this is very important step of the project. And this is mixed uh, to get the financing. So once the financing do is done, uh, what other news flow would we be looking for? Further results? Uh, what's news, uh, the coming news, uh, now we work on the permit for the query, uh, as we have uh, also, uh, I would say, detailed discussion with three, three different groups to buy the quartz. Uh, this is something uh, could happen in the coming weeks, coming on. And also, Hydro-Québec, as we get the power from the, the government, the access to the power, we have uh, now applied for the economic development rates, which is 20% rebates on the industrial rates. We already applied for that. Well, it sounds like the government's really supportive of the project. What do you think it is that they're most excited about? Uh, just uh, recently, uh, you know, the, the silicone metal, uh, I think this is not well known in the community, what we could do with that, all the silicone alloy, but there is a lot of these products in our common life. And one thing very important, this is a critical and important component for the solar panel. The solar panel industry is going to boom in the coming years. So that's that's why this project is so, so important and so enthusiastic for us. So just to recap, you think that the Quebec government is very supportive of advancing things in the silicone industry because it's supportive of the solar industry? Yes, actually the Quebec government is looking ahead for the new technology development, the future technology, the green technology. We also be uh, one of the most efficient uh, smelters uh, around the planet. We will produce 50% less green gas emissions. So this is very important. You per or your actual project will produce fewer green gas emissions? Yes, less than a normal than a normal smelters uh, using uh, electricity producing with gas, coal, or, or, or oil. As we use hydroelectricity, that the, the 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 final effect would be we will produce fifty percent less green gas. So it's not yeah. just a green product; you're also producing with a green process. Yes, that's it. So and we align we we are we are well aligned with the the, the development strategy of the government of Quebec. Hubert, thank you for the update, and we'll look forward to news flow as it comes. Thank you very much.